What's going on guys and welcome back to another Let's Play with Nevs. This time we're going to be playing through Dead Space 3 by Visceral Games. Um, as many of you may know, I was a big fan of the first two games. Played through both of them on my channel here. Um, if you want to watch those, just give them a search. Um, and I've already played through about eight hours of this game by myself. Um, and so far, I think the game is quite well done. I think in a lot of ways they've topped Dead Space 3. Um, the first hour of the game is a little disappointing um, in the sense that it kind of reminds me of the path that Resident Evil is now taking. Um, it's, it's very action-oriented. You fight a lot of foot soldiers, and it just doesn't feel like Dead Space at all. Um, but once we really get into the heart of the story, it really starts to go back to its roots. Um, and I'm really excited to record it for you guys. It's an outstanding game, so let's get started. And I'm going to be playing through solo because I just don't feel that co-op play really has much of a purpose in survival horror. I'm just not going to be scared if I'm playing a game with one of my buddies. Um, that's just kind of how it is. So we're going to play on normal. It all started Enjoy. 300 years ago with the discovery of the Black Marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original black market disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and a unitology was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the Markers are divine. And their plan for us, a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the Black Marker disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the Black Marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear, but we now know the replication was successful, but the cost too high. The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker, and with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift, a mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by EarthGov, his mind harvested for the Marker's secrets. The Marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis Seven. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clark, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet, where 200 years ago, someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. Alright, so we get a nice little recap of the previous two games, <clears throat> as well as a little hint as to what's going on in this game. And now for the opening. Space 3. Oh. 
Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Come on. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Tim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Just uh, follow the way towards the thank you. I, I can't tell you anymore. Just get there. Do, do you hear me? You have to get there. What? Oh, it's lost. What? Dang it. Alright, so we can hold down the shift key to sprint. I'm really glad I decided to play this on the PC because I love the PC controls. Okay, I like being able to move my gun you can do this. really fast. Oh, he's dependent on you. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> right. Gun's not even loaded. <laughs> Why would you come out on a secret mission and have no bullets in your gun? That is really strange. Oh no. My god. I don't know why it waits that long to tell you how to sprint. So we're now in the prologue, beginnings. Hey Doc, I found Damn. it. Good. Can you get inside? It's all sealed up. Look around. There must be a way. Alright, now we gotta find our way into the ship. Finally, Let's go ahead and smash ammo. these. Find some ammo, reload, and blow this latch. Balls. Look out! We're gonna aim for the legs. Step on them! Crush your head. Doc, found a way in. Good. You're looking for a cylinder, about half a meter long. Do you see it? Ah. His head off. Nice. Ah. Dropped him. We can get him. Come on. Yeah. And we're just gonna step on him. Whoa. Somebody's making a lot of noise. Um, and if an enemy does not drop any loot, you can always step on them. And oftentimes they will drop stuff. So I always make sure to step on dead bodies. Lost a good bit of health. But that's okay. I don't think we need any more. Here we go. I got it. Doc, I got it. Oh boy. Get out of there! That's some shit. <laughs> but I got whatever this is. The codex! Ooh. It's the key to saving everything! Meet me at the silo and don't stop for anyone! Better hurry. So you basically just jump down the cliff, basically. And these are the parts I was talking about the game really not being all that scary. Ah! Ah! Very not dead spacey. <laughs> I'm not really sure why it gives you the ability to move here. It's really not that important. So I don't think you can really die. Oh! Never mind. Apparently you can. I did not realize that. I've never had that happen to me. Let's try that again. So yeah, you uh, actually have to shoot this. So yeah, one shot to it blows it open. Whoa, don't go that way. What a badass.
Fine young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahad, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control. And now, for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. We... Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. So that kind of sets up our story. Brothers and sisters, the age of man is at an end. We have become so many. Playback, message 34. Isaac, I know you're there. Come on, pick up the phone. Fine, look. I just called to say I'm moving on. I have to. Just take care of yourself, okay? I understand you're something of an expert on markers. You created one. I didn't make shit. Your government made me. And you destroyed two, which is why we're here. We got a job for you. No. No! I'm done with that. You find somebody else for your suicide mission. We did. Before we lost contact with her, she told us to find you. Ellie. Where is she? What'd you do to her? Where is she? Unitologists have breached the inner concourse. We can't hold them! Captain, run out of time, gotta go! She's out there all alone, Isaac, and I can't help her unless you help me. Okay. Okay! Isaac likes to repeat himself. Let's get moving. Where is she? Where'd he go? All right, so we got some loot in the room. Chapter one, Rude Awakening in Isaac's apartment. Got to heal ourselves up with a med pack. Let's listen to this. Playback, message 33. Caller, Earthrise Apartment. This message is for the residents of apartment 16. Your rent is past due. This is your final notice. Failing the pet in three days will result in eviction. Jerk. Gotta pay your rent, Isaac. Okay. I said I'd help you. Now, where's Ellie? How long has she been missing? Just shut up and get over here. We'll play later. See, yeah, there's an item back there and a angry, growling dog. Hey. Who the hell are you guys? Earth Gov's last battalion. Name's Norton. Captain Robert Norton. Sergeant John Carver. Last battalion? What do you mean? Last means last, genius, as in no more left. Looks clear. No more left? There's our right. Let's go! Let's 
Go, go! And this is what I was referring to as the first hour of the game being action-packed. Run, Isaac! Isaac, move it! Take cover! Go. But it gets better, I promise. Pick up that ammo. I'm gonna try to use my loot as sparingly as possible so we can get lots of nice little upgrades. Aim for the head when you're fighting normal units. There we go. Stomp on their bodies and get their items. Thank you, thank you. Come back here. Gotta shoot that. Some suicide bombers. Why are they trying to kill us? You, they're trying to kill you. What? Just get out of there, shut the I'm working on it. Going up. Why are these fanatics after You've me? You've destroyed markers in the past, I think I makes you a direct threat to their plan. Plan? Some end time prophecy based on the markers. Convergence? Yeah, Ellie thinks you can stop it. So now she's missing and they followed you here? Yes, now get to the roof of the Dredger Corp building. There's an extraction team waiting. All right. So you can press C when my stasis is low to charge it up. So gotta go find Norton. Have you seen this man? Please, Where is he? I don't know! Uh-oh. Aim for the face. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Should not have backed up into that fool. Shit! I've hit the freeway. Then cross it. They're unmanned transports. They don't stop for Grab anything. That. I've still got my. Boom! I should have waited for him to finish talking. But yeah, you just use your slow mo stasis and cause a giant traffic jam. <laughs> Ouch. Oops. Seemed to work. Probably killed a lot of people. Actually, no, you didn't because they were unmanned transports. Never mind. Let's go on up. Cut me off, not today. Goodbye. His bodies have any. No. I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, cutter out. I'll be using the plasma cutter a lot. Brothers and sisters, the age of man is at an end. We have become too many with too little to go around. Corporations that we once trusted with our money have squandered it. The governments that we once trusted with our future have sabotaged it. To their eternal credit, we are dying. Fear not. There is a future. As promised by the prophet Michael Walton, the Black Marker has a plan for all of you. It will lift us up from our miserable existence, and we will become one. United in body and united in spirit. Our unity will be our salvation. We will live on. Not as men, but as God. <laughs> the Church of Unitology is waiting for you, my friends. Throw off the chains of this life and join us as the new one begins. I'm Jacob Arthur Dalek, and I am this message. 
I'm Jacob, and I approve this message. Norton, this isn't just a manhunt. It's systematic slaughter. Oh, you noted. But why topple the government? Why Earth Gov? Danik blames them for experimenting with the markers. Thinks it's heresy. So you can imagine what they think of you. Have you reached the extraction site yet? I'm almost there. Here we go. Elevators take forever. Oh boy. Pick them up. This one's still alive. Bring him here. <laughs> Isaac Clark. Just the man I was looking for. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter of minutes. Pick him up. There's something I'd like you to see. There. You see that? That's a marker test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts. What do you want from me? As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you helped make them. And today, you of all people get to watch me set them free. No, no. You'll kill everyone. Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Eyes forward, Isaac. Pay attention. And now it's time for you to join the cycle of rebirth. God. Oh shit. <laughs> Blast our way through these. Aim for the legs, and then for the head. Now for the tentacles. Let's quick work with them. Let's pick up all the items. Heal up. I don't think there's anything over that way. Let's move on to the next room. So it's telling us we can stomp on corpses to reveal items. Sucks that we're full. I would love to pick up that stasis. Can't trick me. I hate leaving all these items behind. Because we can sell them and buy lots of fat loot. Come here. Got him. Thank you. We are full on items. Crazy. There's no shortage on items in this game, if you look around. It's like we're gonna have to leave it behind. Isaac, have you reached the extraction team yet? All dead. Dan, it got here first. Oh, fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the tracks. <laughs> 